Oru kayaks aren't just inspired by origami, they really are actually origami. They're made from one seamless sheet of material that folds up just like a sheet of paper. I got the original idea for the kayak when I moved into a studio apartment in San Francisco and had to put my kayak in storage. And at the same time, I read this magazine article on origami and on artists and scientists and engineers doing uh, new and amazing things with it. So that got me thinking about whether a kayak could actually fold up like a piece of paper. Getting from that initial idea to a product that could be launched on the market took about 25 uh, prototypes in four or five years. So the kayaks we're taking out today are 12 feet long and uh, 25 to 28 inches wide. Uh, they weigh about 26 pounds, which is about half of what a standard molded plastic kayak would weigh. And they pack up into a box that's uh, 32 inches by 12 inches by 30 high, so it's about the size of a couch cushion. The material is corrugated polypropylene. It's basically a custom heavy-duty version of uh, what you might know from the U.S. Postal Service bins or yard signs. I started out not necessarily wanting to start a company, but really just designing a product for myself. Kayaking really makes uh, connecting to the water really simple and accessible. And one of the neat things is that's just as applicable in urban areas as in out in the woods. Um, here in New York or in San Francisco, we have all these bodies of water that are uh, often overlooked, but are really amazing places to just get out and experience the city from a new perspective. We've also had customers use them in a lot of really cool ways that we didn't necessarily anticipate. Um, they can be checked on airplanes, so people have taken them all around the world. Uh, people have taken them on sailboats, um, on float planes, uh, even on the backs of motorcycles and horses.